G'day guys, hope you're all having an amazing day so far. If you're new here, my name's Blake and I'm a full-time Australian reseller. Woke up bright and early this morning and we have our latest wholesale lot just arrived. We've got five big ass boxes, they're like 25, 30 kilos each. Uh, about 150 items in total. So we've got some jeans, we've got some shirts and we've got some track pants. So should mainly just be a heap of bread and butter stuff. That's what I usually get from a wholesale. But I thought I'd turn on the camera today and uh, instead of taking you through the whole lot, which would be a couple of hours of video, I want to just take you through a few cool things that I find if I do find some stuff. So I haven't opened it up yet. Don't even know if I'm going to launch this video. If it's here, if you see it, we got some good stuff. So let's just get straight into it. First thing I always do whenever I get some wholesale is I grab some tubs. I've definitely got more in the shed and we will need them because we've got 150 things. But it's important to have some sort of system to sort stuff out in, just so you can see exactly where your things are going to be going. Now, just before we get started, I just want to say like a quick disclaimer in a way. If you're a relatively new business or a small scale reseller, I wouldn't recommend doing wholesale. If you do, definitely try out just some smaller scale stuff if you can find a supplier that will allow you to do smaller quantities because it's a big risk. If you buy 50 or 100 different things that are, you know, $10 each, that's like 500 bucks that could just be a load of crap. So until you find a good supplier, just do those smaller quantities, get a get a feel for what that supplier is gonna get you. And then maybe you can start putting it up from there. But if you're a small scale reseller, I would not recommend doing a whole heap of wholesale. But it's up to you. I'm not gonna tell you how to do your business. So we've got a hundred pairs of jeans and we found our first really kind of good pair. We've got the Hilfiger denim here. Tommy Hilfiger, not the best brand anymore. You can see the embroidery there. But it's a good pair, size 34 if I can find it in here. It doesn't really matter, you can take your word for it. Size 34, um, but this is why you gotta be careful with wholesale because a lot of the time you're gonna have flaws and stuff. Now I should be able to get that out, but it does ruin the value a fair bit. But you know, I'm in these for I think about $9 a piece, which isn't too bad for denim jeans, but you're gonna get a lot that is good. You're gonna get a lot that isn't good. So just be careful, but I'm happy with that. It's a good little start. We're only about three pairs in, so hopefully we get more of the same. So we're only three pairs in. Now, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. We got a pair of RM William moleskins here, followed by a pair of Wrangler Carpenter jeans, brand new with tags. So it's pretty rare stuff to be finding in some wholesale lots. Um, we usually get a lot of Wrangler out of this supplier, um, which is fine because it does sell really well. But yeah, to get some RM Williams to start us off here, this is fantastic. Okay, so we got some more Wrangler here. We're nearly through the first box and these just aren't normal Wrangler. So we've got Wrangler, as you can see there, we got a lot of Wrangler there as well. But these ones are a bit different. These are the George Strait Cowboy Cut Collection. So these are automatically worth a bit more. The Wrangler George Strait's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Not that common over here in Australia, but a lot of this is imported from America. So you do find some really good stuff. But, same time, you do find a lot of crap as well. You've got stuff like witchery. So, you know, you can't always expect good stuff, but we do have, you know, some Levi's and Wrangler and some more brand new Wrangler. So I'm definitely not upset so far. We're gonna make a profit on every single thing here so far, which is good. You'll have to excuse the background noise, the washing machine's going berserk in the background, but we've got some guests here, which by itself isn't that special, but it's got this really cool sort of buttoning around the pockets there, but it's also got this, uh, this sort of buttony cuff kind of thing here, which is desirable. So these should definitely sell well. These are women's as well, I believe, which should be pretty damn good. These are gonna sell well, and I bet these will sell on Poshmark. Seeing a bit of a trend, so I thought I'd share it with you, but we've got the Levi's 7-Eleven skinny, and in the women's, these do sell pretty well. These are consistently around that $25 plus shipping for me. So I'm pretty happy with that, but we're getting a lot of that, but uh, I'll show you more later, obviously, but we do get a hell of a lot of Wrangler. Obviously, Wrangler is a big brand over in the US, so it doesn't surprise me that we get a lot of Wrangler. So it does sell well, a little bit slower, but a lot of workers do buy this stuff. So definitely not upset. When you're in for about $9 a piece, I'd pay that in the op shop. So I'm not upset about getting that as well. So it works out $9 a piece after shipping as well. So... I'm pretty damn happy so far with how things are going, but don't expect wholesale to be all great stuff because a lot of the time, it's not gonna be. It's one of the best so far, guys. We got the Diesels, absolutely love to get the Diesels, and they are a size 36 as well, which is perfect. It's got the really nice uh, pattern on the inside there, and it is also a stretch waist as well, which does increase the value. 
These are probably going to be around that $40 mark because there's not a mark on them either, which is perfect. The banger immediately after those diesels, we've got the Gant. This is really good. This is quickly turning out to be better than my last wholesale lot. Oh, I'm very, very happy so far. There's some really good money here. And we're only halfway through our second box. We got four more, three more to go? Three and a half more to go, so... Stay tuned. Got another great one here, guys. We have, it's a zipper fly, but that's okay. We got the G-Stars. You can see that big G-Star raw on the back there. Got the back patch as well. Big, thick zippers. You know, that's everything you want to see in a good pair of jeans. That's probably close to 50 bucks there. If you guys are new to the channel, <laughs> Uh, shoot me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I would really appreciate it. We're back on YouTube. We're back consistently. So I'd love to have you join the journey. Just so I'm being transparent like I always try to be and so that I'm not, you know, just showing you all the sunshine and rainbows. You're going to get stuff like this, you know. Size tags faded. Back patch is kind of ruined. And you got wear on the bottom cuffs, you know. You're still going to be able to sell these. I'm still going to make my money back, of course. But you got marks and stuff. This is the reality of wholesale. So just be careful. You're definitely going to find some good stuff, but there'll be some pretty ordinary stuff in here as well. We got some more G-Stars, which is great. It's the uh, 5204s, which is excellent, but it's uh, it's missing the missing the button there. Of course, they'll still sell, but someone's going to struggle to wear them when there's uh, no button there. So that's unfortunate because they're a very nice pair of jeans, but someone will still pick them up for a good price. All right, we're halfway through the third box. We've got ourselves some more Gants, which is very cool. These are actually jeans, uh, a lot of jeans, but these are more like a, uh, a khakis kind of chino, chino pant, but they're very, very nice. These are going to sell super quick. This is what every reseller wants to see. You've got the old 501s, size 36, 32. This is an absolute ripper. Stoked to have them. I forgot to say too, those 501s were actually a button fly, which helps as well. But these are just a pair of guests, but they're like that slimy biker kind of pants unfortunately they're really small being a size four but they're kind of cool i don't know i don't nothing like that in a wholesale lot before so i'm sure someone will definitely want to pick them up got a pair of wrangler blues there too i might as well just show you the rest of this box i haven't been through it either but um it's pretty much what all this stuff is you know you got arizona jeans there uh we got bullhead there which isn't that great Wrangler and Wrangler. So we're probably sitting at around 50% Wrangler so far, which is good and it's also bad. You know, it's, they're not bangers, but it's consistent bread and butter, which is what runs my store. So I'm definitely not complaining. So I'm pretty sure we're done with all the jeans and I think now we're up to the tracksuit pants. So we're just going to probably speed run these. I will uh, take you through them. We've got some champion ones there. We've got some Puma track pants there. Some nice Adidas track pants there. They're really nice, actually, with the big logo there. Those are going to sell really, really well. We got some Under Armour as well, which is very nice. Track pants and stuff, they sell so well for me. Sorry if the camera's a bit out of focus, guys. Uh, we have some Kappa, by the looks. We've got the nice little double lady thing going on there, which is always good. Hopefully, it's a good size. They're a size large, so those are going to be excellent i will double check later for uh, floors and stuff We've got some nike track pants there and they're kind of cool those are going to sell really well We've got some adidas ones there as well which are very very nice excuse the muddy background the uh, water's settling there <laughs> um, we've got some puma as well which are always good not the not the best brand in the world but could be worse for sure we got Macron. I don't know how they're going to go. I'll have to do some, have to do some comps there. The size is small, unfortunately. More Puma trackies. They've got the, the 3D kind of embroidery thing there, which is good. And we got some running bear there as well. I don't know what they're worth, but I will have a look. Then we have more Nike. Should be too many more left. Ooh, they got the whole button side there. They're nice. Adidas brand with the three stripes. Those are cool. Look at those. Gee whiz, they are unreal. Awesome. Um, uh, I believe they're shirts, maybe? I don't know. Um, we have more pants. Adidas there, which is good. 
Uh, you can see the shirts down there. Uh, we have some more Adidas and Act. I think they're not too bad. And I think that's it. Oh, we got... No, we got more. <laughs> we got Nike there and Country Road there. So I think that's it for the pants. Oh, no, we got these funny looking things. What brand are these? Oh, the Juicy Coutures. Don't know what they are. If you know, let me know. But uh, they're kind of cool. So I'll have to do some comps on that and have a look. I'm going to start sorting through these shirts. Um, I think that the other box might actually still be jeans. But I'll let you know if there's any cool shirts in here. We've got 30 to go through. So hopefully there's some good ones. I'm just quickly sorting through the track pants. And uh, this pair of Nikes has this really cool spell out sort of thing on the bottom of the leg. So that should definitely increase the value a little bit for us. Okay, first good thing of the shirts, we've got a nice size large Gant blue striped button up here, which is always a good brand to find. And we've got another Gant, same size, so they might end up selling to the same person. I do get a lot of multiple buyers for stuff like this. So apart from those first few Gants, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a flop really. They've got some rod and gun and stuff like that, the US Polo Assassin and Brooks Brothers mainly, and uh, few gap things and that but I mean I was expecting just normal basic men's modern like that so I'm not too upset but I probably wouldn't buy the uh the men's shirts again from this supplier but that's fine obviously they're not going to tell you who it is you need to do your own research your own experiments and find your own stuff but the reason I only ordered 30 of these was because I haven't ordered them before and I didn't know what to expect so that's one thing I would recommend when you're doing wholesale is definitely to just do some trials first. Order in smaller quantities. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And then, like I did with the jeans, I ordered a hundred of them. You can sort of start doubling down on some stuff that actually is, you know, you know is going to be pretty consistent. So, them, not the best. Definitely make money back. I didn't have $9 each on these. I think it worked out to be about six or seven bucks a piece. So, we'll definitely still make some money. But it's just sort of, yeah. It was as advertised, I didn't get scammed or anything, but probably not something I'd go for again. Yeah, so we're back in the jeans. This whole box is jeans, which is fine. We've got a nice pair of Hollisters. It's actually a pretty good brand in Australia. I know in America it's pretty saturated, but over here we do actually have a pretty good sell-through rate on Hollister jeans, which is good. But they're nice and distressed, which is pretty cool. But I wanted to show you because it's a button fly. And button fly automatically it does add a lot of value, which is great. Nice old back tab there, and also size 32 with the inseam being higher, also adds to the value. So pretty happy with these ones. These are gonna sell really well. They're a pair of like cargo-esque kind of, kind of pants, but they are one of my favorite brands. Once again, if I can actually find it here for you, uh, I'll just flip them over. G-Star, which is fantastic. 015204, size 33, which is excellent. Got the utility pockets, got the embroidery there. These are gonna sell super quick. Just need to try and get the wrinkles out of them. Unfortunately, they do have a bit of damage. You got a small hole up there and a small hole there, but that shouldn't hurt the value too much. But I just bought it here because I just seen this really cool embroidery here of the G-Star Raw 3301. So that'll probably help with the value as well, which is always a good thing. All right, so that's all she wrote. Just went through the last jeans there. There wasn't really anything to bring to attention. We got the Wrangler Q babies there, which are pretty cool, and just some Calvin Klein and Wrangler and Wrangler. So pretty much all Wrangler. So just to show you quickly, we've got this here, those shirts there, and the tracksuit pants there. These are the things that I need to try and remove some stains from, or uh, just give a good wash, get rid of some dirt and whatnot. And then down here, we've got all of our other jeans. So we ended up with a pretty good little lot here today, guys. We well, obviously 100 pairs of jeans, 30 shirts, and 20 tracksuit pants. But the good thing is, is that with this wholesale and this wholesale lot that I got, there wasn't anything I needed to throw out. There's stuff here. I'll at least get my money back on pretty much all of the items, which is really good. And that's why I keep going back to this supplier. It's really important that once you do your testing, and obviously you're going to get some that aren't good, you're going to get some that are good, and stuff like that. But once you find a good supplier, Stay loyal and support them as long as they're going to keep bringing you some good stuff. Obviously, this is just one of many wholesale lots that I end up getting. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you through it today, show you some cool stuff that we got. And yeah, wasn't too bad. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy, guys. If you want some more of this wholesale content sort of thing, uh, let me know because it is pretty much the main gist of what I do in my business. So 
yeah, it was good to bring you along and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later. Happy reselling.